Hi, this is All Music and All Bands, and we're talking with Eric Ferentinos, lead guitarist from the Stephen Piercy Band. How are you doing today, Eric? Doing fantastic. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for having me back. Um, I understand Stephen Piercy is you and Stephen, Stephen have a new album coming out, View to a Thrill. Uh, would you like to talk about that? Yes, we're very excited uh, to release the follow-up to Smash that we put out last year. It's our second release with Frontiers. Uh, the album is called View to a Thrill, and it will be available everywhere November 9th. Fans can pre-order it on Amazon and iTunes. There's also going to be a limited edition vinyl to a thrill that can be ordered through a company called FYE and it's uh, I believe they're only making 300 of those and it's a limited edition orange vinyl of the record it's pretty cool I'm going to have to get one of those for me yeah. uh, can you uh, name some of the uh, tracks that are going to be on the album yeah so far they released two songs. One is You Only Live Twice. The other is a song called I'm a Rat. But there's a lot of great songs on there. Um, I just uh, was on a show the other night, and we played another song uh, off it called uh, Sky Falling. And uh, this record has a James Bond-type theme to it, with, the, with uh, the, obviously the pun with the title of the record. Um, Stephen is a huge, always was a huge James Bond fan, so he thought it'd be fun to kind of steer it in the direction of a James Bond feel with a lot of tongue-in-cheek uh, Bond ref references and so forth. But it is a, the record is a thrill. It kind of takes you on a little thrill ride. We kind of pretty much pulled out all the stops. There's not really any ballads on there or anything. It's just a hard rock record. Uh, songs like Malibu, uh, old school hard rock that we think, uh, everybody will enjoy. Um, there was a, a song that we were really excited to have Robbie Krieger, the, uh, Doors guitarist, uh, lended his talents to a song called Not Killing Me. And Robbie was kind enough to do the slide guitars on the song. And he, uh, perform the solo on it. So we were really excited about that. I can't wait for everybody to hear that one. So lots of, uh, awesome rock songs on there that we think everybody will dig. Um, is there going to be any videos being shot for any of the tracks? I believe we have to do a video for this and I'm waiting to hear when that's going to take place. Last uh, record, it ended up being a few months after the release that so we were finally able to get one out. It might be a similar situation. And I'm not 100% sure which song it's going to be. We might get a little feedback from the fans after they hear it, you know, which songs they, like, they actually like the best, since we'll probably only be making one video. I probably want to make it for the song they like the best. This album's going to be released through Frontier Records, correct? Yes, it is released through Frontiers. And we had a two-record deal with them, so we just completed the contract for that. So we're kind of free agents now as far as any of the solo uh, records go. But, uh, you know, at this juncture, uh, after a long court battle, Stephen got the rights back to the rat name. So he and the original bassist, Juan, uh, have uh, put together a new lineup, basically, of the band. And they're trying to uh, do shows with that at this moment. So I think everybody's just kind of waiting to see how that goes as far as how the schedule's going to be for next year. But uh, this year is pretty much done. We're just going to release this record. And it's the holidays. Well, the industry pretty much shuts down. and There's not much shows that happen. 
but hopefully uh first quarter of next year we can at least do a run of shows to promote the record and I'm sure we'll have a video out by then. Uh yeah, Steven does have a new lineup for Rat. I see that. Um were you ever considered uh being uh one of the members of Steven's new uh new rat? Uh, I think I was on uh, more of a contingency. I know they wanted uh, this to be a, just what they're calling it, a new breed, which I'm kind of the old breed in that sense. Uh, I played with Stephen for 18 years, so that wouldn't have been anything really new and exciting that they were, you know, looking for. So, uh, and they really needed uh, somebody to be on par with Warren D. Martini as like a soloist, undisputed soloist, where, you know, my strengths are more with songwriting and, you know, my performances, I uh, try to put a lot of passion into uh, as well, but I'm not really, I don't really consider myself to be the top-notch shredder extraordinaire. You know, it's not really why I got into this. I just like playing in a band and contributing song wise and just trying to perform and sing and play as good as I can uh up there. But I think they made a a good choice with uh the guitars that they took and the fans seem to agree with that. So I think uh over time the audiences will accept the changes and, and so forth. But um as to answer your question more directly, I wasn't I didn't go in and try out for that or anything. I mean, Steven and I worked hard on his solo records and things like that, and that is a business for him as well. So it, you have to kind of look at it as two separate companies. And being a long-time employee of his solo company, you know, he doesn't want to end that. So I'm still where I've always been, and I'm sure we'll continue to write stuff. He'll just continue to do music outside of Rat, and hopefully they'll do a Rat record at some point uh, as well. But as of right now, no, I don't have anything to do with that and, and didn't officially go in and try out anything. Um, who produced uh, the new uh, Stephen Percy record? We kind of self-produced these. Uh, we went to the same studio. We did Smash, which is Matt Thorne. Uh, studio in Burbank. Uh, Matt's played with us for a couple of years now. He's also known for playing in uh, Rough Cut and Jailhouse. And he's a, he's a great engineer. Um, we tracked everything there. And then we were just kind of there. Just, you know, he does the mixes and everything. So, I mean, he's probably named as the, the producer for it, but it's, it was kind of a group effort with that. I mean, with the songwriting, Last year, over like probably a three month uh, time span, I, I came up with the 11 songs musically. And I just give them to Steven so that he can absorb it. And when it comes time to go and do the record, have some good ideas melody wise and uh, lyrically so we can go in and try to make some magic, you know. Um, and that's how it was. Was the eleven songs I gave him, or what turned out to be the record, and you know, over the course of about a month or so, we we were at Matt's and we knocked out the music in probably four days, and spent the rest of the time just uh, having Stephen with vocals in there. Came out came out really good, and that's pretty much how it happened. <laughs> Um, who else is in the in, in Stevens band? Well, we do still have Scott Coogan uh, of Ace Frehley and Brides of Destruction fame, and uh, of course Matt on bass. But it was just the three of us performing on this record um, for live shows when available. We have Frankie Wilsey from Arcade. Uh, playing with us. He also plays in the Aerosmith tribute band Aeromyth, which are, uh, they, they do perform a lot. So 
depending on the schedule, you know, he'll be appearing with us. There's been a couple of shows where it's just me on guitar as well, but they get a kick out show no matter what. But not much has changed, uh, lineup wise since, uh, since last year. Uh, what are some of your personal favorite songs off this new album? Uh, personal favorites? Um, I, I like You Only Live Twice and Sky Falling. Um, I also like the last song on the record, Violator, which is pretty cool. Steven actually did a duet with a female friend of ours. It's a heavy song, but it's got a lot of vibe to it and edge. Uh, let's see, I don't even have the song list in front of me at this particular moment. But uh, Malibu is a fun song. And, you know, if I had to say my favorite, it would probably be Not Killing Me. Uh, you know, of course, because Robbie played on it. And it was just something a little different from us. And there's meaning to the lyrics and so forth. So I think people are going to like that one. Well, some of these songs we added to the new set list for the shows? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Um, I realize we can't play all, you know, solo <laughs> album stuff because our shows, you know, celebrate Stephen's career for the most part, so we try to play a little of everything. But now that uh, he's doing shows with Rat, we don't want to play the same set list they're playing, so... I'm sure we'll, we'll still play some of the rap hits, of course, but uh, we do intend to play a couple songs off of the two albums we just did, and of course some covers and some arcade or something like that. Um, do you have any side projects going on now that Stephen's uh, tied up with uh, with the new with the new rat? Uh, yeah, I have been playing. Uh, there's a band, Drag Vault, that started with some friends uh last year and at this time uh one of the members having some family stuff going on so that is kind of on hold at the moment uh but as of most recently i've been writing songs with uh members of the first band that i ever played in called voodoo um out of san diego we were a 90s band that was popular here and we've since crossed paths again and they, they've continued to play all these years and so have I, so we're actually a lot better than we were uh, back then. And we've been uh, just writing songs that uh, aren't scheduled to be recorded, uh, you know, late November, early December. So by the beginning of uh, 2019, I will have uh, a new band and record that I'll be putting out there. But it is as a band. It's not a solo effort of mine where we're an actual band that gets together a couple times a week and hacks it out writing these songs and stuff. So I'm excited about it. And then just open to whatever Steven's got going on. I'm sure we'll do some solo shows at least uh, for next year. So all kinds of good stuff. Um, who are the members of uh, your, of the new band, Voodoo? Uh, well, the the name will not be Voodoo. That's just what we were back in the 90s. But uh, Charlie George is the drummer. And he also actually played at the last Piercy show we did because Scott Coogan had an ace gig that he had to do. And Charlie came in for that. He did a good job. Um, the other gentleman is John Crylo, who's a fantastic guy. Uh, bass player. He's also a teacher, music teacher here in San Diego uh, as well. And from what I understand, we might be working with Scott Hackwist, which was this singer for the band Dig, uh, which was were popular in the, in the mid-90s as well. And he's a producer in Los Angeles. I think that's also where we're going to record at. Um, the other band, uh, Drag Volt, is uh, me and uh, some members of the band Asphalt Ballet, which uh, were like an early 90s rock band that were kind of, they were on MTV. They were poised to do something. And the singer had left and it kind of fell apart. But 
Uh, they were a great band for people to check out. Uh, classic rock sound. And, uh, Jay Ulrich and Mike Kiner are the two. There's the guitarist, singer, and Mike's the drummer. Uh, for that. And so I think we, we did write songs and, uh, started to record them. I think they just have some personal stuff to take care of and we can probably finally get that out. But, uh, fans might hear stuff that I'm doing with, uh, John and, uh, Charlie here probably sooner. But, uh, you know, the biggest thing I got going on is definitely the Piercy record, November 9th, View to a Thrill. Taken, not stirred. <laughs> uh, what's the best way for everyone to keep up uh, with the new album being released and uh, upcoming shows? Uh, the record label Frontiers does have a Facebook page that, you know, if they could go on and like their page, they always promote all the releases that they have. They have some great bands on there, uh, LA Guns, Bullet Boys, a lot of the guys from Steven's era are on there, so they should check it out, give them a like so that they can uh, see all the latest releases. I know the same day ours gets released, Jakey e. Lee's Patina record comes out for the Red Dragon Cartel same day, so they they release all that info through there. Um, I have a Facebook page as well under Eric Ferentino, and they can like my page. I always give updates as well and again it can uh get the new record or smash or both on amazon itunes and the limited edition vinyl for view to a thrill can be found at fye vinyl online I'll tell you, as a, as a fan of Stephen Pierce and yourself, I'm really looking forward to this new album. I cannot wait for it to come out. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it. You know, and uh, everyone out there, you know, needs to go out there and pick up a copy of A View to a Thrill when, when it's available November 9th. Um, definitely going to be well worth the purchase. That's right. Um, do you have any um, other things going on other than uh, other than your um, your band and Stephen Percy? Um, no, that stuff kind of has taken up most of my time. It was a lot of effort to get this record done in time, and um, as as of late, just uh, playing with John and Charlie. Uh, weekly trying to get these songs ready and I do uh, some producing as well there's uh, some bands that come to me to help with their demos and stuff so I do a little recording on the side some producing as well um, one band I work with is Dark End Trees and the other is Permacrush and you can find them on Facebook and YouTube uh, as well, but that's pretty much it, man. That's a lot right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything that I haven't mentioned that you like to talk about? No, I think we hit it, man. I'm just you know, I appreciate the uh, opportunity to talk about the record on your page and show. All music, all bands, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> okay. So uh, we appreciate it. Pick up you to a thrill, and we'll be seeing you out there early next year. Oh, I can't wait. Any plans of hitting the mid uh, the mid east at all? Yeah, we we just ha I have no idea. I'm just gonna be honest. I really have no idea. I think they're waiting to see what's happening with Rat to know what Steven's schedule is gonna be at that time. So I can't give a, an answer on that, but I hope so. Oh, so do I. It's been a long time since Steven's been to Buffalo, New York. Yep. Let's hope his agency gets us out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. Well, all right, Eric. I just want to thank you very much for taking the time to conduct this interview for me. You got it. Best of luck with your stuff. Oh, thank you. All right, man. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.